Welcome to prayer and coffee. In 2 Kings 6, do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. That word is from the prophet Elisha to his servant who went out early in the morning and saw horses and chariots and an army surrounding their city and cried out to Elisha saying, Alas, my master, what shall we do? And Elisha replied, Do not fear. But his servant couldn't see what he was seeing, so Elisha prayed a simple prayer. Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. And then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. And suddenly he realized that they were being protected by a host of angel armies, and there truly was nothing to fear. In the chaos of everything going on in America and the world right now, maybe some of you are asking, where is God? I pray that God would open your eyes to see that He has been and still is at work all around us in unseen ways. And you are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because He who is in you is greater than He who is in the world. Let's pray. Father, our trust is in you today. Thank you for bringing us near the end of another week. We rest in your care. And I pray, Lord, that you would open our eyes to see, that you would let us see your presence. Just a glimpse, Father. Jesus, you promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And I pray that you would open our hearts to receive that promise today. And let us feel the power of your great love in our hearts. Your word declares that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We need your strength today. Some who are praying with me today, Lord, are overwhelmed with the news this week. Some have felt all alone this week. So we are asking that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, would guard our hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your mighty name. Amen.